7. Plans for a £2.5 billion fund to help keep people out of hospitals have been set out by the Liberal Democrats today. The party says improved GP access and better health care in nursing homes should help reduce pressures on accident and emergency departments. Patients could also be prescribed social activities such as fishing or cookery classes to help their well-being. The Care Minister, Norman Lamb, joins us now from our Norwich studio. Thank you very much for joining us on BBC Pleasure. Breakfast this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, so you're deciding how this money should be spent. Isn't that up to NHS England? Well, actually, we're not. Uh, the, the, the whole focus of this is to enable the NHS uh, locally working together with the care system. And I think this is a crucial thing, joining up. Uh, the NHS and the care system so you have a single health and care system in any local area allowing them to make the decisions about how this money should be spent and it's in, in rather considerable contrast with the labour approach which is to prescribe that we need X thousand more doctors, X thousand more nurses and so on. That's not actually the best way to do it. We of course need more uh, doctors and nurses and physiotherapists and so on but let's allow the local area to determine how best to join up care with a much greater focus on preventing ill health and preventing a deterioration of health and that involves you know extending GP opening hours, making it easier for you to uh, consult with your GP through email and through Skype. These are all things that are working in many areas, but we need to make it available uh, everywhere. And just by way of example, uh, on Thursday I joined in with a group of older people in North Norfolk doing an exercise class, and the whole focus of this was about preventing falls. We know that if someone has a fall, breaks their leg, it leads to an awful deterioration uh, in their condition. It makes them more dependent. There is loads of evidence out there that if you do work on this, it's very low key intervention. Uh, you can achieve great results for people and reduce cost to the system and yet it's not happening, happening all over the place. It's happening in isolated areas. So let's focus on preventing ill health and in that way I think we can achieve much better results for people but also make the system much more sustainable. The problem is there is a funding deficit, isn't there? And then local um, authorities will be very concerned because this um, idea would affect 2.9 million people, I understand, who suffer from three or more chronic illnesses. And this is £172 per head. This is what it works out, out at. And that's a lot of money for a local authority to commit to your plan. And more often than not, they won't. Well, so what's the, what's, what's the point? Whether you're in government or not, they don't have to, do, have to follow your plan. Well, look, first, first of all, uh, the Lib Dems are the only party that's actually committed to meet the £8 billion shortfall by 2020 that Simon Stevens, who's the head of the NHS in England, has said the NHS will need by that date. Neither Labour nor the Conservatives have made that commitment, and I think it's incredibly important. All the Royal Colleges are calling on the political parties to do this. The Lib Dems have done that, and it's that extra commitment that we've made that enables us to make this additional uh, investment in the NHS and the care system. But we're also saying that as soon as we're through this election, all of the parties should come together in uh, setting up a non-partisan commission to look at the adequacy of both the health and the care budgets to make sure that the system is sustainable and that all of those people who live with long-term chronic conditions and who often don't get sufficient support uh, can get uh, the care that they need at the moment they need it, preventing crises from occurring. And I, let me make another point. The system is horribly fragmented. We've managed over the years to separate mental health from physical health as well as the NHS from the care system. If we join it up together, as happens in some parts of the country, you achieve so much better results for people, linking mental health into GP surgeries, linking the care workers, working together with district nurses, with GPs, with physiotherapists. This is the way that you uh, allow people to stay in better health you uh, cut costs to the system, but most important of all, you achieve better results for people. The problem with an announcement like this during an election campaign is that um, the electorate is very mindful that the Liberal Democrats dropped or compromised their view when it came, when they were in a coalition government, when it came to tuition fees for students. And what many people will be asking is, this commitment you've now made, is this something you would be prepared to compromise again if a coalition government were to form? 
Well, look, uh, Nick Clegg explained in the debate the other night that we did the best we could on tuition fees in a negotiation with the Conservatives. And of course, the result. For well, many people, it no, wasn't good enough. Me, so when me, you announce me, something me, like me, this. Hang on, let me answer your. Please let me answer your question. The result of what we've done is that there are now 9% more students from poorer backgrounds going to university. University funding has been maintained. And the way you repay is entirely based on your ability to pay. It's a more progressive system than the system we inherited from the Labour government and the Lib Dems in this government have actually implemented the key elements of our manifesto. We've cut tax for people on low and middle incomes just as we promised to do. We've got two and a half billion pounds into our schools for children from the poorest backgrounds to narrow the attainment back. This is a record of delivery of what we promised in our manifesto and look I have been pursuing all the way through my time in this job, the joining up of the health and social care system. It's something that I care passionately about. It's not, this isn't posturing. This is something I fundamentally believe in. And I think that the Lib Dem approach of integrating, joining up the health and care system, linking mental health to physical health, making an additional investment in mental health, which is a major commitment uh, that we've made, is the way in which we sustain our NHS. Uh, and if we are in government after the election, the NHS will be safe with us and we've demonstrated that commitment to it. Um, talking of coalitions and the prospect of coalitions, people are talking about the SNP as the party to watch when it comes to a coalition, even after the debate um, and poll wise, polls wise, the Liberal Democrats don't appear to have made much ground. How concerned is the party, how concerned is the party over this? Well, I think the point that we keep making is that uh, in the seats where we have MPs, uh, because of the way in which we do our jobs, uh, uh, with you know a constant focus on the communities that we serve, uh, we expect that our MPs will be able to retain their seats, and so we will be able to maintain a very solid. Uh, presence in the next parliament. But I suppose the question uh, that the British people have to uh, consider is this. Through this last five years, through the Lib Dems being in government, we've anchored the government in the centre ground, ensuring that there is a balance between fighting for that stronger economy, getting public finances back in order, but also focusing on achieving a fairer society. And do the public ultimately want a party that is committed to breaking up the United Kingdom uh, working in government for the whole of the United Kingdom. That to me doesn't make sense. I think the critical thing is to keep going on the centre ground, maintaining that balanced approach. And I think when people come to put that cross on a piece of paper, they will see that that makes a lot of sense. Norman Lamb, Care Minister for the Liberal Democrats, thank, thank you, you very, very much. much for joining thank us you. on Breakfast. It is, of course.